Hi, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can use this app called Zoom. So first thing you want to do is make sure you look in the description for the link to download this app or just search this app in the Google Play Store or, or App Store for iOS. So the first thing you want to do, do is now that you downloaded it, you want to open it like so. You want to open the app right there and then I'm going to sign out so you know how this works. Like so. Yes. Right there. Here, once you get to this to this option, you will have sign up, sign in, join a meeting. Join a meeting is where so it, where if somebody sends you a code by text or email, you can enter the code or or just press the link that they send you. I'll show you what to do. Like that. Now, what you want to do is from here, you want to either sign in or sign up. I'm going to sign in, like so. Right there. I'm going to sign in. Right there. It says you can either put your fingerprint or enter your password. I'm going to put my fingerprint. Right there. It's connecting. And then right there, you see right here, it says find people and start chatting. You can add contact like so. It says by email or by phone contact. Now, right here it says new meeting, join a meeting. It's the same thing I told you before where you can get someone's URL, URL that they send you or their password to enter the meeting like so. Right here, right here, what you want to do is you can change the name right here. Right here, but it's good to have the name that you addressed it. If your personal name, don't change it if you don't need to. Because that's what you're going to be identified with in the stream, stream video chat. Right there. Now, it says schedule, share screen, which you can share the screen like so. Like so, you can share your personal screen, like a screen record almost, right here. Right here you have personal meeting ID. You can send this invitation right there to people, to people so they can, they can enter your, your Zoom meeting. Like so, send an invitation like that via email, Gmail, email, messenger, hangouts, message. You can send that to a message if you have a group message that you want to send it to so they can come in and like that. But I'll show you the other way you can do it right there. Just like that. Enable, find contact with Zoom. You don't need that. Settings. You don't need to worry about your settings right now. Now, what you want, now what you want to do is send back and start new meeting right there. You want to start your meeting. Right there, and now it says voice on, use personal meeting, like so. Now I'm going to start meeting, right there. I'm going to start a meeting, and you see right there, that my camera is on right there. Now what you want to do is you want to stop the camera from coming in, like so. You want to click right there. And everyone will not be able to see your face like so. Now what you want to do is if you want to mute yourself in case something happens, you want to click this mute button right there. Click that mute button and nobody will be able to hear you. Now what you want to do is if you want to share your video with someone like so, you want to click right there. You want to click share whiteboard where you can draw on share share web url input a url to share participants you can invite people like so by sending um email i'm going to send an email right there to someone right there this is two and then what you want to do right there you see right here the, the people the people when they see the email they want to click the join zoom meeting if they're on some other place 
you, you they can add the code but i rent i regularly recommend that they use the zoom meeting url that they get sent sent to enter us now you want to head back to your zoom and then what you can do is there's a bunch of options you can do when you click more disconnect the audio chat meeting settings right there and it says enable waiting room share screen chat with everyone meeting topic or share or play time for entering mute entry show non video participant show name when participant joins you can click that and then come back close and then there's more you can do right here tap to speak right there you can share a bunch of stuff right here now if you wanna see your your invite code right here is at the top the same invite code that you send to your email for someone to enter it's right here right there now here you have the microphone where nobody can hear you too now to activate all your all your options so people can see you is right here unmute start video you can unmute then if people are going to be able to hear you you can click that start video and people will be able to hear you like so now right here now to end to end your your live your live meeting what you want to do is click end end it right here like so now what you want to do is that you ended it like so you will be greeted with this it says leave meeting or end meeting you can end the meeting because you're the person that started it if you want to leave the meeting you can leave it and then you can set someone else to end the meeting for you click end meeting like so right there you can end the meeting and then that's it for this video guys on how to on how to start your own zoom meeting on your smartphone people can join on computer as well the next video is going to be on how to start a zoom on your computer please like and subscribe bye